Here's another road closure ahead. No problems at all. Hey, my name is Will Buchanan and I'm walking all the way across the country to New Hampshire in search of more freedom on a project called the Walk for Liberty. Today is October 9th, 2008, day 158. Here are the contents of Argyle, which is apparently the next town that I'm walking through. Apparently his last name is Wright Nauer, but at first I thought he was against the war, which I thought strange for a Republican. Pumpkins? A great giant pumpkin! Big news! The pot is free here. However, a double wash is $650. Yesterday I mentioned that Brooke and I had met a liberty-oriented reporter who had interviewed us. She was apparently so taken by our walk that she offered to let us park our RV in her and her husband's driveway. We had dinner together and ended up talking about our walk and various liberty issues, which they turned out to be fairly new to. Just to give them an idea of where liberty stood compared to the traditional left-right model of liberal and conservative, I administered the world's smallest political quiz to both of them. She turned out to be on the border between libertarian and centrist. And he was on the intersection of liberal, libertarian, and centrist. I think the reason why she didn't score higher as libertarian, even though she struck me as pretty liberty oriented, is that she answered maybe for a lot of the questions. She actually reminded me a lot of myself from when I first discovered the liberty movement. In theory, she sees that government is bad and that it's desirable to achieve smaller government. However, when it comes to some specific issues, she advocates government involvement in those areas. Or at least, is not quite sure how it would work without government in those areas. Hence, the fact that she answered so many maybes. She did seem interested in reading more about the positions of liberty. And I'm sure that given time, she'll continue onward down her path toward liberty. People like her, and really her husband too, are one of my favorite types of people to talk to about liberty. Ones who are just starting to question the logic of why so much government is needed and are exploring, in their minds, what the alternatives might be like. It's important with this type of person not to come on too strong or to argue with them. Just plant a few seeds of liberty and then move on. I walked about 20 and a half miles today. And here are my GPS coordinates. This is Will Buchanan for Amazon.walkforliberty.com, signing off. Big news! The pot is free here. However, a double wash is $650.